feel like there's hairs in my face. I see them. Do you see them? Can she come in? Like here. I don't know if you could see them, but I could see them. Okay, they're f yeah, they're gone. Hi, Candace. She's not there. Hi, Candace. My hair is collapsing. I see. It looks different than the blue one. <laughs> no, it's okay. Hi, Candace. Hi, Dr. Hess. How are you? Okay. How are you? Doing well. Thank, thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Great. Now, how can parents protect their baby from getting chap skin? Oh, this is. Um, there's some few simple tips that I like to recommend to parents. Um, one of the first ones is just to be prepared. When you know the weather is changing, it's going to get cold and windy. I like to recommend to parents that they pack a diaper bag or have some um, petroleum jelly on hand. So you can have one in your diaper bag, one on the changing table, one by the door when you're leaving the house. And it's always just good to put some on the baby's cheeks, under their nose, on their lips before you go out of the house. And that'll really protect and create a barrier from the wind and the cold. Um, the second thing is I like to tell parents if you're going to leave the house, layer your baby. So put on nice cotton clothing, put on a jacket, and then maybe one or two soft blankets. And I always recommend that they wash all of these uh, clothing and garments in DREFT detergent before they leave the house. DREFT is the number one choice of pediatricians because it's gentle and hypoallergenic on the skin. DREFT has been trusted for more than 80 years. It has an amazing baby scent that parents love and it's completely safe on their skin. It does not irritate them. So if you're gonna go outside you know, and you know you have your jacket and your blankets, um, I also like to recommend a uh, plastic shell on those windy or rainy days to cover the baby from the elements. They can still see outside and really enjoy their walk, but they won't have that harsh wind on their face. And how should parents wash and care for the fabric to protect their baby's skin? Well, I recommend that they use DREFT, which is hypoallergenic. Um, it, what's great about DREFT is that it actually takes the pills, the fuzzies, off of the clothing. So it has special enzymes makes the clothes really nice and smooth. They have a great smell when they come out, so they, they really are clean. And I, and I think it's great, actually, when you have a newborn at home or an infant that you use, that the whole family uses draft because you put your baby on your shoulder, and if you don't wash your clothes in draft, then that might irritate your baby or on your bedding. Um, and I, I recommend staying away from fabric softeners because those can be irritating to babies. And what kind of fabrics are best for babies' clothes and bedding? Uh, the best is 100% cotton, but of course cotton 100% is a little bit more expensive. So if you can't buy 100% cotton and you get some kind of blend that might have a polyester in it, what I recommend is that you use a DREF because the, the, the fabrics that are not 100% cotton get more of those pills. And the DREF will help minimize those and make them less irritating to your baby's skin. And how many times a week should a baby be bathed and for how long? Oh, baby should not be bathed daily, and that upsets a lot of my families, but um, washing a baby every day actually washes off the natural oils of their skin. So I recommend bathing a baby for uh, 10 minutes maximum, two to three times a week using a hypoallergenic baby, baby wash. And as soon as they come out of the bath, you should put on a hypoallergenic lotion and massage that into their skin. 
and do the lotion twice a day. Even on days that you're not bathing your baby, it's really good to have a lotion on them twice a day. And do you have any additional tips, information to share with us? Sure. Um, when your apartment or your home is really dry, I think it's a good idea to keep a cool mist humidifier on at home. It keeps the air nice and moist. Great for your skin and your baby's skin. If you don't have a humidifier, if you have a hot radiator at home, in an older home, you can actually put a pot of water on the radiator and you can put some vanilla in it or cinnamon and that actually creates uh, more moisture in the air and keeps the baby's skin nice and soft and it uh, prevents them from de developing eczema. That's a nice tip also as well. And where can you go for more information? Oh, parents can go to www.dreft.com, D-R-E-F-T.com to learn more about Dreft and they can also find a $2 coupon online. Well, thank you for the great tips, Dr. Hess. I appreciate it. Have a great afternoon. Thank you, Candace. Thank you. Bye-bye.